I'm Rosemary Clark. I'm a third year PhD student here at the Annenberg School. So my research focuses on feminist movements in the United States and their media practices, and also the ways in which commercial media and pop culture is interacting with feminism or, in, or representing feminism through mainstream outlets. In particular, I'm interested in how feminists are using media across three different areas, I'm calling three different mediascapes. The first being this form of popular feminism where we're seeing suddenly over the past decade feminism popping up all over the place, whether it's in commercial advertising or it's Beyonce at the VMAs or it's another celebrity tabloid story, is she a feminist or not? Um, often we're seeing this sort of appropriation of feminist rhetoric to brand a celebrity or sell a product, which I think is a really interesting dynamic that needs to be unpacked. Um, the second major area that I'm interested in is online feminism. So this is how feminists have been using digital platforms to push their activist projects. Um, we've seen a lot of this over the last decade with the feminist blogosphere and more recently with hashtag feminism on Twitter. And the third major area that I'm interested in is more localized. So this is where we're seeing the flourishing of a lot of grassroots feminist collectives um, who are producing a lot of their own do-it-yourself style media projects. So everything from handcrafted zines, and these are printed out, stapled ephemera, which is very interesting to see really flourishing now, um, to street art campaigns, to street protests, and even to feminist punk shows and basements. <laughs> so I have gotten to see a lot of that firsthand here in Philly, which has been uh, really great. I started the Media Activism Research Collective, or MARC, as we like to call it, in the fall of 2014 with Professor Globin Yang, and we had noticed that a critical mass of students studying issues related to social movements, to media and activism, and social justice more broadly had formed on campus here at Penn. MARC started out as a joint initiative between sociology in Annenberg, but it has grown to include Penn students from the education school, from gender studies, political science, history, uh, philosophy, a huge diversity of disciplines. Um, and we've also included students from other universities as well, which has been really great. So we host monthly work in progress sessions for grad students to get feedback on their work, but we've also hosted events that bring together the activist communities here in Philadelphia with the academic communities here in Philadelphia. Um, these have included things like film screenings, workshops, speaker events that bring in different scholars but also different community leaders in the area who are working on issues related to media. One of the highlights of my time here at Annenberg has been having faculty mentors that support my efforts to blend my activist work with my academic work. And um, This really came through to me when um, Mark was first getting started. And a few students were organizing over the email listserv to attend this Black Lives Matter protest that was happening that night. In the afternoon before the protest, I had a class with Professor Yang, and he came up to me after class and asked, would it be okay if I came with you to this protest? Um, so that evening, he came with us and he stayed. It, it um, was a march that went through all of North Philly. And he marched with myself and with other Annenberg students and students from sociology from early in the evening until about midnight. And it just really demonstrated that not only is he committed to activist communities in Philly, but he's really supportive of his students that are pursuing activist academic work. It's one of my favorite moments. <laughs>